Hey, welcome everyone in this new video in which I'm going to be presenting to you the new AI agent we have for Meta Ads. So this is the third layer that we're installing into our current master AI agent. Uh, currently, we have CRM functionalities and calendar functionalities that you can see in previous video I've made. But now we have the Meta Ads uh, assistant and we have this inside our own business and we're installing it inside client business as we speak right now. So this is built inside NAN, a powerful no-code platform that's very uh, useful to build AI agents. Um, this video is going to be presenting to you how this agent performs, what it does, and also how we built it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You're going to notice here into this green, uh, this big green box here that we have a telegram trigger and also chat trigger. Okay, This is for testing purposes. And for production purposes, we use Telegram because that's what we use inside our business. But this could be Slack, this could be uh, Teams, this could be WhatsApp, this could be anything, SMS if you want as well, okay? Uh, for this video, I'm going to be showing you both the chat so that you get to see how this interacts, but also uh, Telegram, how we use it in production because we can use vocal commands, but also textual commands, okay? So this is super, super cool. Uh, then we have the, the master ad assistant right now. It uses uh, memory context, basically it has a memory module that's connected to Superbase, a database. Uh, then we have four different tools. We have a brain, so whenever you have a complex query, it's going to analyze it, dissect it, and then process the different steps. We also have a calculator because this is ads and you might want to calculate certain things. I'm going to give you an example later. Then we have an account layer because uh, you might be managing different accounts with different IDs, so we centralize this inside our table right now. Then finally, the uh, API call itself to Meta to get rid of all the data that you're looking for, okay? So let's get started right into this. I'm going to start with uh, opening the chat here so you get to see the interaction. And I'm going to have a very, very simple prompt here that says, what, what are all the active accounts we manage right now? And so we're going to see this goes into the chat directly, ask, uh, check the memory first, and then ask OpenAI, what should I look into? And this case here, if I move myself a little bit, we're going to see that we have two active account here, owner John Smith and Laura Mitt. It did not go into the account layer because this was stored in the memory, but if there was nothing or did not remember this fact, it will go into the Airtable itself, okay? Uh, that showed you a little bit of how this was interacting. What I'm gonna do now is go into Telegram and activate it. So I'm gonna just close the chat right here. I'm gonna activate. This way I'm gonna be able to go inside Telegram and show you how this worked vocally and textually as well, okay? So let's get right into it. Telegram, let me open this chat. We have a chat for our bot right now. As you can see, we were testing the calendar and the CRM previously inside the other video. Now uh, let's have about specific stats. So I'm going to be asking here, what is the best performing campaign in the past seven days? And let's see what the um, bot answers here. Just have to wait a couple of seconds. And then after that, I can go into the execution and show you uh, precisely what it did. So here we can see, we can say that for John Smith account, the best performing campaign in the past seven days, April 30 to May 7, so it has today's date as well, is this uh, campaign name here. And it gave us all the stats, the different stats that we might be looking at. So this is super cool because we can query like this uh, very quickly. Another thing that you can do, and let me take the phone right here for this, is query it vocally speaking. So I'm going to be asking what's the ROAS on this, or ROAS, okay? Hopefully it picks up my French Canadian accent else I'll just correct it uh, with text. So I will say, if the product is 60, what's the ROAS? And then I will show you inside the AI what, what it does precisely. Okay, so it pick up my accent. Here it calculates, okay, based on the purchase, the spend, and the product price, the, the ROAS, and then it's approximately 7.83. So like this, it's super easy to query um, and receive the information that you need to take decisions based on data and not just emotions, okay? So that's a good campaign I would be scaling right now if I was the person behind it, okay? If we go back to Wavebox here into the execution, we're going to go see precisely what it did in different steps. 
So first thing here is it went through Telegram, then it decided that this was vocal command and not text. Then we had OpenAI transcript, feed the, the, the transcription into the master AI, look into the memory, and then query OpenAI again. And then based on this, so this is was uh, in the memory actually. So this command uh, did not go into the API call itself, but it would go into the API call. I'm gonna show you how it's made right now so you can replicate it. If this was not in the memory, okay? If I open here, um, actually, let me go back into the editor first. So here we have the description, okay, what, what it needs to be doing. The specific URL that we're using, account ID, this is stored inside our table. And then here, the specific fields that we're looking for, okay? This is, th those are all gonna be place holders that we have description here. So we have to describe what each are, okay? So fields, for example, let me open it. All fields you want to retrieve, for example, asset ID, asset name, span, impression, click actions. Everything that interests you, you have to put in the description here so that the AI understand uh, what it needs to be looking for, okay? Uh, the big prompt here inside the master agent looks like this. So I like to be giving guidelines to my AI agents. Then I like to be precising which tool it has access to. And then a very good example here just to, to guide the AI agent. Because this is not an MCP build, MCP is coming, I'm gonna be making another video about this in the future. Uh, we have to kind of guide uh, when the AI should be using a different tools, okay? So the prompts look like this. A very important aspect as well is we give the current, di current day time so it understand, uh, if we say it in the past 30 days, it understand that we're talking about April to May basically, okay? Because currently uh, it, we're 8th of May. So here was the example. I'm gonna show you here real quick if I open uh, the small um, Scala draw that we have. Basically how this is built and what are the future things that, that we're gonna build and that you can also do on top of this, okay? Uh, the first layer that we have is the account management layer right here. So this is super important because as an agency, you might be managing different ad account. So which account should you use and pass into the AI agent itself? You will need to create yourself a different database. So we use our table for this with a different ad IDs and ad account name. And this layer, you could be also querying and passing the sales data. So what is the sales data, okay? For us, this is our CRM data, for example, okay? Because we're storing everything inside Go I level now I'm gonna plug the Go I level with the Meta Ads AI agents. And so when it's gonna look for all the relevant stats, I could go in here and pull the kind of stats like book calls, show up rate, close call, uh, cash collected, all this type of stuff and generate reports, okay? So for example, in my CRM, I have all the leads that comes to my campaign that's called operational campaign one, right? operations campaign one or something like this, okay? And then inside my CRM, it finds all the relevant lead and then it gives me all the stats based on this campaign that, that I have in Meta and all the different metrics in Meta, okay? So I can really take informed decision on if the campaign is actually performing because you might be booking a lot of calls from uh, th th this campaign, uh, but and, and having a good uh, ROS, but the reality is all those calls, uh, those calls don't close because it's, it's not a good message that resonates with your ICP, okay? Another layer that you can have, because so far we've been in the prompting uh, side of things, you can also automatically generate reports to include all of your branding on a weekly, monthly basis and include your winning ads. So if you have many clients, you could generate automatically those reports based on the CRM stats that you have and the meta stats that you have, okay? Optional here, and I would have this right now, uh, is a human in the loop, as we call it. So a human approval before sending anything, super important. Um, because if you don't have this, you might be in for some surprise. Sometimes AI hallucinate, all the models still do it. Although the, the models that keep coming out right now, it's uh, less and less of a factor, but it's still happening. So. Right now, everything that you have uh, on the production side of things, I would consider having a human in the loop for final delivery, okay? 
Uh, the second thing, the, the second layer under the account management layer that we have is the add insight layer. So what are the campaigns that we're actually dealing with? The active one, inactive one, specific names, all the campaigns, and what sort of statistics that you're looking for, really? Okay, what, what is relevant for you? You need to ask yourself those questions when you're building yourself an AI agent like this. So we have campaign layer, ad set, and then the had, okay? Differently, uh, it's different layers, one under the each, uh, other. So then after that, if you query or ask to generate automated report, you need to, for example, find the best ads, extract the copy and creative, and then you can send this copy and creative to another agent, basically, that will create new ads for you or new copy for you, okay? There's really a lot of ways here to use this master AI agent. Those are different tools that you can build yourself uh, and feed into the main AI to receive a complete product, okay? As of right now, ourselves, what we're working on, okay, and right now I'm showing that it's possible to get the meta ads. What we're working on at Wingrow is to plug our CRM data. If you follow the previous video that we have, uh, and I'm gonna show it uh, right here. So we just did a little uh, pause right here, but we're back. Uh, I'm gonna show it here. This is our master AI agent. We currently have a calendar agent and a CRM agent. If you wanna know what this is about, Go back into our, my previous video and, and, and look at this. Uh, basically, this is going to be the master AI agent assistant that we have inside our own business, Wingrow. And we've already started installing this inside certain clients' uh, business as well. Okay, We're seeing super good results with this. Tangible business results, so it's not just for the show. We're actually working on daily basis with this. Okay. If this sounds like something that you would like inside your business, feel free to replicate this schema inside your own. If you need help with this, feel free to contact us. Uh, but if you like the video and we provided, you feel like we provided some value to you, please do like, comment, send feedback. It's gonna be super appreciated. And on this note, I'm gonna wish you guys all the good rest of the day.